Um, thank you, everyone. We're going to take the opportunity to uh, say our farewells uh, to uh, Professor Semensel Aylward, or just call me Semensel, or Mensel even, um, uh, because he heads off on uh, next Thursday. Uh, Mansell, it's been wonderful to have you with us, and we've been deeply appreciative of uh, your coming to be our guest. Mansell's been a, a fantastic guest. He's um, had a great sense of humour, a great sense of fun. He can hold a conversation for as long as you would like. And, uh, <laughs> wonderful. And he's been able to share with us uh, his deep fund of knowledge. He. Um, comes, of course, from Wales, a country very similar to ours, 1.5 million people less. They have the same number of sheep, and they play rugby, um, nearly as well as we do. And um, <laughs> so uh, that we, we've shared a lot in common. Um, he's engaged with Māori, and uh, went to Pofuri at the Pukaki Marae, and I think that was a highlight of uh, the visit. He's endeavoured to learn a few words uh, alongside his Welsh, and been able to share that as well. He's uh, going to meet with Paula Bennett and uh, have a very interesting discussion, I think, this time about netball. Um, and, um, and he's been trying to meet um, Tony Ryle. While he's been here, he's worked on some seven papers. A Case for Change, Moral Obligation and the Pursuit of Quality and Best Class Status for Counties. Um, Case for Change Project. Proposals for setting up an independent commentator panel for counties and actually that will be a national panel and uh, I know Mansell is going to be on that. Uh, key challenges for uh, counties, preliminary thoughts, a faculty for health care improvement, uh, triple aim and an approach to measurement of outcomes and leadership and knowledge management and I think the seminar that we've had today, our brown bag lunch, was a fantastic example of what you can do with a few questions, a lot of thinking and a participatory discussion to, to deepen understanding and have some fun at the same time as well. He's participated in the Innovation Lab opening, indeed he was there and opened it. Um, he's presented to the board, he came and spoke at the Senior Nurses Day uh, and the awards, and he's been at numerous staff forums, and he's spoken to um, aged, the aged care people. He's met with the Director General of Health, senior government officials, medical advisors across ACC and um, other parts of the health sector. He's given a seminar at the College of GPs for the Māori faculty. He's met with members of the College of Occupational Environmental Physicians. He's been to Victoria and Otago universities and he's hosted seminars at the Centre for Health Services Research with Jackie Cumming and others in Wellington. And met with uh, the Chief Scientist, Sir Peter Gluckman. So, um, in your three months here, Mansur, you've been very busy extraordinarily productive, um, met a lot of people, inspired us, encouraged us, uplifted us, and given us plenty to think about. We've enjoyed uh, your dear wife uh, coming to visit with us. Thank you, Angela, for coming, and uh, being very patient and supporting Mansell as he flitted around the country and did his various <laughs> meetings and activities, and uh, it's been a delight to have you at our home, both of you, uh, for a meal of it as well. So I wondered if we could um, please join together and thank um, Mansell for all his contributions at Counties. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'd just like to call on Jonathan just to say a few brief words and make a presentation of a gift. Thanks, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Gregor. And you can see what a pleasure it's been for me, and I hope you'll agree what a fantastic way to start with an inaugural, the first um, Kuawatea visiting chair, and you can see how much he's done. It does make me feel slightly guilty as I persuaded him and Angela, who I knew both of them before, to come here on holiday. Gregor mentioned so many things that happened in the, in the last, and, and Angela tapped me on the shoulder, you might have seen there, and said, it sounds like we've been here for a couple of years. Um, <laughs> it's only been 13 or 14 weeks, which has been fantastic fun for me, and, and I'm just really proud of everything that you've done, both of you here. Um, you also did an article in The Listener, and um, one of the things that I know you liked was a picture. So we contacted The Listener, and we had the picture we bought it of them. And we've also taken a small piece out of the text. Oh, Professor no. Samantha Lewis, a dapper and jovial Welsh. Oh. <laughs> so we've made two copies of this. One will sit forever over there as our first Koawa 
volunteer visiting chair and subsequent ones will have to try and match your achievement. The other is for you to take home with you. So that's for you, Mansell. I'm also just going to put on top of it, so you can all applaud after I've given them all three. The Northern Club have sent by courier a tie because I think late last night either Angela or Mansell expressed their appreciation for the beautiful tie. <laughs> So the South Auckland Health Foundation have bought that for you in appreciation of all that you've done. And, and not least, uh, I wanted you to have something to take away. So whenever you're meeting ministers, whenever you go back to Wales, our new campaign, this is from Diana and the campaign team, and it's such an appropriate logo, I think, for everything that you do, everybody, every day. So I think um, I just wanted to hand you those three presents, and then perhaps together we can just say thank you again. Thank you very much. Play in the language of everyone shortly, and you will all understand it. And believe it or not, it's not Maori, it's Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but before that, I have got a few tributes in my way. Do I? No, don't tell me to do that. Um, <laughs> we did come thinking that we'd have time to sort of enjoy the benefits of New Zealand, and we have. But the only time we actually went on holiday, we went up to the um, Bay of Islands, and it was the worst. Rain in that. <laughs> <laughs> and we were stuck in Russell with no ferries for two days. And uh, we had to get, back, get out in the end by the, uh, the motor ferry, which was also uh, stopped. But we enjoyed ourselves greatly. And uh, yeah, I, I think that I got engaged very much in work. We fortunately had a, 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 an apartment where I had a study, which was a boon, so I could uh, get down and do some writing work so that's the it's no good just doing all these things and then no outcomes as i said what are the hard outcomes and the outcome is going to be more than just a bit of paper although you're going to put down on a bit of paper what it is that uh, needs to happen so i'm really proud of i'm not pleased at all <laughs> <laughs> angela when she read that that first um, statement a dapper and Fell on the floor laughing. Yeah, fell on the floor laughing. Uh, because one thing I can't be called is dapper. And anyway, to me, dapper means, in, you know, now in cotton slang, a bit of a white boy, you know? Um, but then my secretary in, in, in Cardiff phoned me up after I sent her a, um, a, a scan of this, and she said, when they read it, all of them fell on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, that's, just, that's a fact. So, but, but on the other hand, it's, it's a wonderful accolade. You know, I like to be dapper, and I'm certainly jovial. So, and I love the baby, that's Patrick, Fahandu, the third, um, who is Scots, Irish, Samoan, and Maori. And he had croupus laryngitis, and he came into the hospital two days before. So that's a lovely, a lovely photograph. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.